Hey everybody, Milo here along with Zach Gully. I'm back out here at Superstition Mountain in the fitness center. And today, Zach's gonna share with us a critical key that the pros do to warm up. So warming up, warm is the, the key word there. Is that the key word? That's the key word. The whole secret is increasing your core body temperature. And I don't care how you do it, but all the pros do it. Some of them go for runs in the morning. Some of them are doing plyometrics. They're throwing balls. They may even lift some weights, but the whole secret is to actually increase your core body temperature. Okay, so most of our viewers are not gonna go for a run before they go to the- Perfect, it's so fine. What are some simple ways we can get them warmed up, maybe even while they're headed to the practice tee? They, they, maybe they don't even go hit balls. They're just headed to the, the tee. How can they get their core temperature up to go play. The easiest way is gonna to be to go sit in a hot room. Okay, so some of the clubs you might have a sauna or a steam room. Okay. If you have that, go do that for five minutes. If they're at a public course, that's probably it, not an option. That, that's also true. So then we gotta do some exercises. So I like to do things like you might see on the LPGA with NASA is just some little jumps, uh, things where you're starting to create a little bit of energy. Uh, you do this a little bit long enough to start feeling temperature increase. Yeah. It helps us with ballistic movements, which is really powerful. You could do like high knees. You could do some jumping jacks. You could do some little movements. But I hope you're understanding the key is to get moving a little bit quicker than just walking to the tee box. And how do we know if our core temperature is starting to come up? You start breathing a little heavier. You start creating a little bit of sweat. Uh, I think that's what you're looking for. Awesome. Let's show everybody a few good exercises that they could potentially use. So I always like to do something where I have my pelvis stable and I'm creating some like reaching patterns to facilitate a little rotation through the upper body. And when you're doing this, I'm not looking for as far as you can go, but just getting some movement going. And it's kind of bouncy when I watch you do that. Yeah, you're kind of so bouncing from. I'm creating a little rhythm and going. So okay. I like to go forward. I like to go to the side. I like to go above my head. And to that get a creates little, a little side bending? Yeah, to get a little side bend going. I like doing some hinge work. I like doing some little rotary type of squats both ways. Now the key is not uh, counting reps, I don't think. Just do them until you start to feel a little bit hot and then that's probably enough. Now these could be like three to five minutes. It doesn't take long to get your body temperature up. Um, if you're gonna use a golf club, you take that thing, and you could just do some little rhythmic sequencers where you're just trying to get something going. So if you got a golf club, um, some type of tool, uh, two golf clubs, I mean, the key is just trying to be a little more fluid and get things going. Yeah, I can see it's kind of a continuous motion. So you're, you're just moving a lot. Yeah. So Milo, what do you do for your warm up? If I'm headed to play in a golf tournament, yeah. it's a different warm up than when I'm just Going, going out. out to play with boys. Sure, yeah. So if I'm gonna go play in a golf tournament, I'm probably gonna go small jog, maybe run a half a mile or something. I do some jumping jacks. I do some kind of dynamic stretches. I don't like to hold my stretches. Yeah. I like to just kind of bounce in and out. I like to do, you know, just things to kind of get all the, every segment warmed up. So I'm warming up my shoulders and I kind of just work my way down to the ankle or maybe even start from the ground and work my way out to my shoulders. Mm -hmm. But I'm just getting all the segments warmed up. And then I like to make some air swings. So just maybe take two golf clubs and I'm just make some swings. So I'm running through the full range of motion a few times before I decide to hit the afterburners and really Let hit it hard. Rip, yeah. yeah. Now when I'm just going out to play with the guys or what most of my rounds of golf these days are is kind of last minute. I'm on the tee. I'm, I'm out teaching and then a student's like, well, let's take it to the golf course today. Well, then usually what it is is I might do 10 or 12 jumping jacks and hit 10 balls and I hit them pretty quick. Yeah. And then I, I'm gone. I mean, I've seen you do some speed sessions at schools where you've been cold all day and then you just start swinging a few times. Maybe you jump up and down. Uh -huh. That's... You hit 15 shots and then you go, okay, I'm good to go. Let's go. <laughs> but the key there is not that he's hitting shots, it's that he's getting his temperature up yeah. before he really starts to hit the shots. Yeah, because as your temperature rises, the muscles loosen up and the joints loosen up. Yeah, rate, that's... Of, rate of firing increases yeah. and that's what we're looking for. Zach, one of the more famous examples of a warm-up would be Miguel Angel Jimenez. Yeah. He does some interesting moves. 
you know, he's got the big cigar and his belly sticking out, but he's, he's kind of rolling his ankles and his knees both ways like this. Yeah, we like that. I actually really like that warm up. Yeah, so that's something that we do in our schools to get the ankles and the knees working both directions. Very important for weight transfer and shifting. So, circle left. Even if that's going to be your warm up process, that's completely fine. As long as you got a kind of a purpose for what things you're working on. If you have specific needs for your golf swing, maybe you should start with those. But I like that stuff. So, I've never played competitive golf, but I've played competitive baseball. And I still have that like fire when I show up to the golf course where my like nerves are going, my adrenaline's up a bit, and I gotta try to figure a way to calm that down. So with my high level players, we do like meditation work or breathing. And this is something maybe you guys could implement too. After you've gone through something where your heart rate's up is utilize your breath to create some focus back into your routine of starting to go through your your shots. What you're going to do is some like six to 10 second long inhales and exhales through your nose. And that's, that's going to be the key. So that's going to get you focused and zoned in yeah. to actually hit the shot. The interesting thing about golf is we warm up to go play, but there's a lot of time between shots. Mm -hmm. It's not like, a, like if I'm playing a game of basketball, I'm continuously going. So I'm, I'm not cooling off between shots. Where in a round of golf, I might hit a drive and the next shot I hit might be five minutes later. Yeah. So I see players with things in their routines, like we mentioned NASA, she's doing those things on course to prep her for each shot. So I think that we need to, as players, have ways of getting ourselves warmed up for the shot at hand because we cool down between shots. Yeah. I've seen some, some players too, not jump, but do something where they're squeezing the golf club. And maybe that could be a very similar type of thing, like priming the nervous system, let's say warming things back up by just doing some things where they're like really gripping tight on the club while they're, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I've seen that quite a bit. Yeah, I've seen things like that. I've seen, there was a clip of Rory talking about how he gets his core engaged yeah. if he's gonna, getting ready to smash a drive. So we can probably include that clip in here pressure I try to really like like just feel like I've got a real solid like real solid core to hit from so I'm in there I'm shuffling my feet I've got my core nice and strong and I'm like almost like trying to get my nervous system excited yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then they're finding ways to get themselves not just focused but also like ramped up ramped yeah. up to hit those important shots yeah so guys this might have been just a little different take on how to warm up the key in warming up is the warm word. Get hot. We want to get hot. We want to like break a sweat. Yeah. If we do that, we're going to feel good. We're going to be like athletes. And as we know, that's kind of my tagline. Swing like an athlete. Yeah. So we want to be like athletes. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. And come visit us at MiloLinesGolf.com where we can teach you more concepts like this and help you understand what you need as an individual to swing like an athlete.